Hi there, everyone. It is currently the early morning of the 27th of November 2012. Uh, first and foremost, today for update, I want to be talking about the Tropical Depression 26W, but also uh, I also want to gear in on some of the stuff going on off towards the north, specifically the cold weather. In northwestern China, there was a 46 car pile up today due to this heavy snowfall, even in northern Japan. It's just been a messy day overall, but it's currently cooled out. Take a look at some of the current temperatures coming out of the Tokyo area. Actually, we'll backpedal just a little bit here and look at some of the temperatures at 10 p.m. Japan Standard Time. And you see here in the Tokyo area, six to seven degrees is what it's getting down to. So very chilly and frigid overnight temperatures in the metropolitan area. If we pull back the picture, we can see the front that ushered in all the cold air towards it, which is now cruising like a madman off there towards the east but look at all of these auto cumulus clouds pouring in off of china korea and even northeastern russia well that's indicating some well sea effect snow and, and do expect some 20 to 30 centimeters of accumulation all along the western seaboards of japan here ski season's coming up most definitely and even over the winter uh here in january and going into february you have the sapporo snow festival so that's something to look forward to if you plan on visiting but cold air pouring down I know that if you're in this area, you know it because it is getting chilly, but most of you did not tune in for the cold weather towards the north. We're talking about the tropical depression, very uh, organizing here, actually. You can see that circulation way down there into the Micronesian Islands, actually. Uh, this is all part of Chuck down here, and uh, let's take a look at one of the recent warnings, actually, coming from the Guam National Weather Service because they warned on these uh, very small islands across this area where uh, tropical storm warnings are currently in effect. Now, I guess the good news is that both of these islands that are under tropical storm warnings, about five to 600 people total live there. Uh, so if you are one of those people that are watching from one of those islands, uh, this update, please let yourself be known. Uh, thanks for watching but you could be seeing some 39 to 73 kilometer per hour winds here into the next several days as the storm continues to move off there towards the west that is the current warnings on it let's take a look at the long range and what the national weather service is currently showing as they expect it to continue to rush off here towards the west actually ever so slowly tuesday going into thursday uh just being south of guam yeah, friday and then saturday actually moving fairly close to uh yap here yap is uh, just a very small island um, actually governed by the Americas kind of that's why the Guam uh, National Weather Service is warning on it same with plow it does look like a fairly decent and could be strong typhoon could run into your direction currently uh, the Japan meteorological agency only going out 24 hours as they only do so with tropical depression so that's why I'm not really gonna be showing them this but my thoughts on the storm system I do think that it should remain a straight runner moving really out here towards the west and eventually towards the Philippines uh, due to this rather potent high pressure sitting off here towards the north. That's going to keep this storm down there to the south. Uh, by the way, this is a daily satellite analysis. If you want to uh, stop by and check it out, always feel free. It's on the front page. Just click the link. But also, let's take a look at the streamline analysis, which really kind of gives a clear indication of the strength of that high pressure keeping the storm system to the south. Now, I do expect this to lift off there towards the north. The storm should start to veer a little bit towards the north, but really in the long range going through the weekend, I, I honestly think that uh, the Philippines, you definitely have to be watching out for a very late season tropical system. But before I put my foot in my mouth, I do want to show you the model spread here. Now, this is GFS showing rapid intensification of the storm system given the low vertical wind shear over it. We have a very warm sea surface temperature and then once it gets up to the 10 degrees north there, it really just starts to interact with the Coriolis force and spins right up. But now, as we can see, going into Saturday and then Sunday, it eventually gets picked up by a trough pouring in from the north here, associated with a low-pressure area just towards the south of Japan. And this is still granted about five to six days out, but they expect a, a very tight and quick reef curvature pulling off there towards the north. If it was to hit this trough, that would be a very likely scenario, but not just this storm, actually the European no gaps um, and uh, a few other models are picking up on more of the straight liner scenario. And this is what no gaps is currently showing. With this storm system moving off there towards the west along the southern periphery of that high pressure, a trough does come in here on Saturday and Sunday. It does pick up on that, but 
it keeps it to the north and eventually has a storm moving off there uh, and around Mindanao as a rather weak storm system. So with my thoughts on this, that high pressure, that trough coming in, I honestly, uh, let's switch back to the satellite imagery real quick here actually. I think at least at this time it's going to move off here towards the west, towards the south of Guam, uh, around the Yap area, likely steeping on this westerly direction. Anywhere though around uh, the southern portions of Guam and even all the way off towards Mindanao, I do think that you have to continue to watch this. Uh, I think it's very, very too early to specifically say, had somebody asked me, is the storm going to come across Mindanao earlier today? This is a very, very too early uh, to say that weather continues to change. Uh, this storm actually could just completely dissipate and fall apart in the next 24 to 48 hours. We still have this wind shear line off there towards the north. That this uh, really has to kind of overcome. Plus, it has to get away uh, from the lack of Coriolis. But at least in the last several frames, is really becoming much more organized. As we can see with microwave imagery just showing a, a fairly defined center of circulation as it moves ever so slowly. By the way, this is one of those islands that we were talking about under that tropical storm a warning just towards the northeast of the storm. So uh, we will definitely continue to keep you posted on the development of the storm system here. But just FYI, JTWC, uh, 90 gusting up to 110 knots going into Saturday, right around Yap and Palau. So uh, it still has a lot to develop, but at least at this time, uh, they're also picking up on a fairly significant increase in intensity. But that is all for right now, everybody. Thanks again for watching here at Western Pacific Weather. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, as always, you can post them in the comment box below. And uh, also, thanks again for watching. Stay safe out there, and have a great day. I also want to apologize for my absolutely uh, horrible lighting I have here. I specifically wore my snow tie. I see some snowflakes on it. But uh, with my current lighting situation, which I'm going to be working on, uh, it looks like a void exists here. So there's that.